Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for watching The Other Side. I'm glad today to have a very talented person here. Jonah, appreciate you being here. Yeah, of course. It's my How's pleasure. How's this week been going for you? It's been going really well. Yeah. I've been um, producing for, for two people. Oh, really? Yeah. Who are they? Ben Gerber and Evan Merkel. Really? Mm -hmm. You've been working in the studio more and more after being a musician most of your life? Yes. Yeah. yeah you started playing piano at about five? or. Yeah, that's correct. And then cello? Yes. And then, and then guitar. Guitar. You play bass for rock bands sometimes? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you play with a lot of people I was noticing on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, I, I like to play with um, a bunch of different bands. Yeah. A bunch of different diverse perspectives, takes. Like, you could have two bands, but they're both rock, but they, they're different takes on rock. Yeah. And singers, you work with some singers. Yeah. Who is Lady D? Lady D is a woman from Irving, or she moved to Irving recently. She lived, she lived in Mississippi. Really? Had a band there, and then she moved to Irving, and she contacted the DFW Musicians Group. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just and got a band together. Really? And I was lucky enough to uh, be her guitar player. You got called in somehow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy that band. The music that she plays, a lot of R&B and soul. And very, she, it's very, like, heartfelt music. I bet. Are you all recording or playing around in venues? We're, we're gigging. We've done some open mics, and we're getting the three-hour set together. Oh, really? To get, get, book, get serious with booking. Yeah. Um, and we're also recording an original of hers called... Um, you are my star. Really? Mm -hmm. Who else in that band? It's Dee's the singer. I'm the guitar player. Justin Hurst is our bassist. He's a, a country musician. Like he plays in country bands oh, really? professionally. Hmm. Um, and he picked this band up. And he, he's a really talented bass player, so it's good to have him. And uh, Tim <laughs> Coleman is our drummer. Yeah. His, his Facebook name is Tim Baltham Drums Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> he's a funny guy, really talented drummer. I think he's a gospel trained musician. Oh, really? Musician. Yeah, that's good. They've worked together for a while? No, no, oh, we really? all came together. Came together. There's like this hodgepodge of different like backgrounds. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing. Music brings people together like that. And you play in various groups here in Denton as well. Blue Midas is one of your... Yeah, that's yeah. correct. What kind of music do y'all play? We do um, music that is has like a, a pop punk flavor to it, but is inspired by like jazz language and harmony. Really? Do y'all do some originals under that band? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah we released an EP. That's cool. Yeah, it was a it was an interesting day. It's an interesting day for sure. I really liked that video I saw. Someone interviewed you and uh, where it showed the courthouse and then uh, in your studio. Yeah, that's right, Allison Mayo. Mayo, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a very good video. Yeah, she did a terrific job. That's I think what I noticed about that video right off the bat was. Um, like she, that, that her, was her skill yeah. as an editor. Yeah. And that it was, was really a, impressive. There were some great scenes. I really liked the continuity of it and all that and the questions that she asked you. But So you have house parties over there. People leave their equipment over there and y'all record and then y'all have house parties too. That's, yeah, that's right. That's pretty good. Yeah. About yeah. how many people would come for one of those? It depends. Yeah. At the least, there's usually like 20 really? people, and at the most, there have been like 100 people. Is that right? Yeah. Your yard is just full of people at a certain point? 
No, we, we try to keep it under control. Yeah. We try to keep it under control. I, I've m mainly been preferring to host bands coming on tours out of state. Out of and state then, people. And then have them contact the bands locally that they're interest, they'd be interested in playing with. Oh, really? And then, I, and then I, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm cool with them, or no, oh, no, let's not have them. Yeah. You give them some rules. Yeah, yeah. I have been sort of at like 45 minutes per set. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. It's a hard, and it's a hard stop too because the band, when the band plays loud and they go on past the time, past a reasonable like time limit, that's not, not something that the neighbors, you know, people in the area are particularly, you know, fond of. Yeah, that's where you get get into trouble like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can just, moderation in everything, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's really good. And then um, Peyote Peasants is another group you work with? Yeah, that's the EP I'm working on. That's the EP you're working on currently? Yeah. You're doing some songs for that on the show today? No, I didn't do any of Ben's songs. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> our oh, vocal the... styles are very different. That you're doing engineering work for him. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I've tracked the instruments and, um, and like, well, I, I have my mixes of it, but I also am sending the files to Ben yeah. as stems for him to make his own mixes of it. So we are kind of mixing separately. Yeah. But we're probably going to go m use Ben's mixes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that drives me crazy. I don't know how to mix very well. You guys have played at Shipping and Receiving in Fort Worth? You played with somebody? Yeah, there? yeah, Radio War played there. Are you in that band? Yeah, I'm their bassist. Oh, okay, you're their bassist. I was trying to get this all mapped out in my mind, all the different bands you play in. And like Louis Piano Bar, that's in Dallas? Yeah, we did the open mic there. Oh, really? Yeah, with uh, Lady D. Yeah, Lady D, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that place has been there a long time. I believe it. Yeah. I, don't, I can't recall exactly where it is. Yeah, Deep Ellum is a really interesting area. It's just like this horseshoe on the edge of, on the edge of the city. Yeah. Really, you know, a vibrant place. Yeah, and there's been blues artists down there for what, 70 years or something like that? Some of the original ones. Yeah, that's a long time. You can, you can feel that. I think Deep Ellum existed, and then it went away, and then it came back, you know, and, and uh, but the, the vibe is still around there somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, when good, good music gets played in an area for a while, it's got, like, an energy to it, you know? Like yeah. New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Or Chicago, New York. So you grew up in Cincinnati? Yeah, that's right. I've never been up there. It's another good music city. That's what I've heard. Yeah, CCM, the Conservatory of Music is there. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my, uh, my dad took piano lessons from a guy named Phil DeGregg, who was a professor there. That's great. And he got his master's degree at UNT, so that's how we knew about here. Oh, really? And then you, you came back to this area? Yeah. Yeah, we moved down to Houston. Houston, Kingwood, you went to Kingwood High School? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a big school? Yeah, I'd say. Pretty big. Yeah, yeah. it was on, on the yeah. larger side. Yeah. Did you play football and stuff like that? No, I was in cross country and track. Oh, really, track, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was running, I'm like tall and skinny. So I got long legs. Running is a lot of fun if you're, if you're good at it. <laughs> yeah, if you got the stamina. Yeah. It was like the other kids had way more stamina, but I had, my best run was like an 800. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, like that was like a niche one because like they couldn't, yeah, a lot of, it wasn't ones that the other runners were good at, but it was one that I was stronger in, so they'd always have me on it. Who are some of the people that do uh, your recording? My, my recording? Do you do most of your own? Yeah, yeah, I collaborate with uh, like a handful of people when it comes to recording. Really? Yeah, uh, like the credit I gave on my EP was to my friend Ian. Yeah. Who uh, does a lot of 
mixes in FL Studio. Oh, really? That's the software he uses. I use Reaper Media for the most part. And so that's what I spend my time mixing on. And Ben Gerber uses Logic. Really? Which is, the, the interface is kind of similar to GarageBand. Really? I've used that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Pro Tools, is that very popular now? Yeah, Pro Tools is the industry standard for recording. So any studio you go into, they're going to be using Pro Tools. So it'd be nice to get my hands on it <laughs> at a certain point, because then you, it'd be easier to work in studios. Sometimes when I haven't touched a file for about six months, it, it will be screwed up when I try to open it again. I hate that. <laughs> it's saying some of your tracks are missing. I'm like, hmm, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff gets moved around. Stuff like that, yeah. But anyway, I don't know much about it. But Well, I enjoyed hearing your music today, and I appreciate you coming down. And you just, do you have anything you'd like to say regarding what your future goals are or stuff like that? <clears throat> well, I, I love making music. I love recording. Every mix is like a puzzle that you have to solve. And it's uh, something I'm really passionate about right now. So I, I'm going to take it as far as I can. And you, you give lessons sometimes? You'll teach music theory and? No, not really. Oh, really? At, at, at this point, I'm not really giving lessons right now. I'm yeah. more collaborating with collaborating. people. Yeah. But any, any money that would come from lessons would be great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I'm not worried about it. You know, there's the internet now. So yeah, I think a lot of people just, if they want to figure something out on guitar, they'll look up a YouTube video. That's a good way to learn, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you can hear it, I think that's the, the secret code for music is if you, can, if, you can, if you can hear what's going on. Yeah. Then you can just, you can watch a YouTube video about how to play a song and be able to pick it up. Some of those people talk so much, though. They just talk and talk, and I'm like, can you play it, please? It's real slow <laughs> for me, you know. Yeah, you got to find the right channel, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or like if you don't like their voice, the way their voice sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that, I don't know. But YouTube is pretty cool, for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate you being on the show today yeah, very much, and I look forward to hearing your music in yeah. the future. And thank you guys so much for watching The Other Side, and check out Jonah Trackman's music, and have a great day. All right, hello, everyone. My name is Jonah Trackman. I'm a musician. I'm from Denton, Texas. And I just released an EP. This is the first song off of it. It's called, I Ain't Got Nobody to Blame. All right, here I go. The wrongs I've done have been done to me The faces of the people I see Life has a long way to go But the faces of the people I know The memories they stick in my brain but slowly they all fade away I blame them all for my mistakes But there's an idea that we all need to face Oh, I ain't got nobody to blame But myself But myself I ain't got nobody to blame but myself, myself. The world 
world works in secretive ways Life's unfair is what some might say It's easy blaming everyone else Sometimes you've got to take a look at yourself Oh, I ain't got nobody to blame But myself, myself Ain't got nobody to blame But myself, myself Life tries to bring you down Life tries to bring you down. Life tries to bring you down. Sometimes you've got to get up and turn it around. I ain't got nobody to blame but myself. Myself. Ain't got nobody to blame but myself, myself. Ain't got nobody to blame but myself, myself. Ain't got nobody to blame but myself. But myself, myself All right, that was I Ain't Got Nobody to Blame. This next song is called Social Pariah. kind of shoes I don't wear the right kind of clothes I want to be a better man right now there isn't much that shows I wish I was better with ladies I wouldn't mind some social fame People like to know my name, oh, but right now I'm the only one to blame. My life as a social pariah, my life as a social pariah, life is short, there ain't no time now to be a social pariah. that I had the look They told me if I wanted I had what it took So many things I want to achieve But life is full of liars and crooks uh. My life as a social pariah My life as a social pariah Life is short, there ain't no time now to be goddamn social pride. So many things I want to see, but I lack the social maturity. I hate the fear, I want to be free, but only time will tell what becomes of me. Sometimes I bang my head on the wall Stand up in class, hey, and down my pants fall Oh, my life as a social pariah Hey, my life as a social pariah 
Life is short, there ain't no time now To be a goddamn social pariah To be a goddamn social pariah To be a goddamn social pariah All right, how we doing? How m should I do another song? Okay. All right, this is another song off of my EP. It's called The Places That Are Hard To Be. People just trying to get by The folks that I know have their preoccupations in time The people that I know want to go to The places that are hard to be The places that are hard to be The places that are hard to be Places that are hard to be I know it's not an easy path to choose I didn't want to be misled I got some people looking out for me For now that's all to be said Places that are hard to be The places that are hard to be Oh yeah Places that are hard to be Yeah Those places that are hard to be. Um, two more, two more originals, or is it alright if I do some covers? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do a song that I've been doing for a while um, as a cover. I haven't played in, in a minute, so. When the evening sun goes down You will find me hanging around Cause the nightlife ain't no good life But it's my life Many people just like me dream in fold used to be 
a night life Ain't no good life But it's my life Listen to the blues, listen to what they're playing. Listen to the blues, listen to what they're saying. Just another scene in this world. Broken dreams, cause the nightlife ain't no good life. Ooh, but it's my life. But it's my life. That's my version of Nightlife. Um, I guess I'll do one more off of my EP, and then we can wrap this up. This song is called <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> um, it's about my friend Charlotte. My life, I miss the way things used to be And I see this world is crying Tears roll down and then they hit the floor And I watch you walk out my front door Cause I know she's never coming back She's never Coming back, Charlotte, I've got things to do, but I'd rather waste my time with you. It shows a woman who was so wild, she can make me move so freely, make me feel so deeply. But I guess it's in a woman's way But the world can sometimes be not so kind the times I have leave me no peace of mind This woman gave me love that rocked with time Then we went our separate ways, our lives we had to find I know She's never coming back, she's never coming back, Charlotte. I've got things to do, but I'd rather waste my time with you. It shows a woman who was so wild, she can make me move so freely make me feel so deeply well i guess it's in a woman's way oh girl we never see each other but i think about you all the time i can't explain this feeling inside me but I might just want you to be mine Charlotte, I've got things to do But I'd rather waste my time with you It shows a woman who was so wild She can make me move so freely Make me feel so deeply Well, I guess it's in a woman's way Yeah, yeah, yeah well, I guess I guess
Yes, it's in a woman's way.